Simple radio waves, the same radio waves that heat up food in your microwave, are being used to heat up and destroy cancerous tumors. This minimally invasive surgery is being performed at Riverside Hospital, giving new hope to cancer patients with inoperable tumors in the kidneys and lungs. What happens is we place a needle into a tumor mm -hmm. and at the microscopic level the radio waves cause agitation of the tissues and that agitation leads to frictional heating and it's that heating that we're using to kill the tumors. And it, they will kill tumors, just radio frequency waves will kill tumors? It's not the radio frequency wave, it's the heat generated by the friction. This procedure has really taken off for the last two to three years and growing at a phenomenal pace. Doctors at Riverside Hospital are seeing excellent results in terms of survival and pain relief. Doctors use a CT scan or ultrasound to guide the needle to the tumor target. It's precise and direct. While the patient is sedated and asleep during the procedure, general anesthesia is not used. If a person that can't have surgery because for whatever reason, as you say, they, they're too sick to maybe tolerate it, this is an option? Th this is an option. If a patient can have surgery, surgery is the way to go. Surgery is the best chance for a cure. However, some patients aren't surgical candidates. We call them medically inoperable. They may have bad heart disease, uh, uh, COPD, uh, breathing problems, and couldn't tolerate a standard surgery. And for that type of patient, we offer an alternative that uh, that should benefit them. So before there wasn't anything that you could offer some of these patients? Some of these patients wouldn't have an option, that's correct. And now they do? Now they do. While radio waves and heat are the latest FDA approved ablation, freezing tumors to destroy cancer cells is another option. There's actually two types of thermal ablation that we use. Cryoablation, which uses ice to mm -hmm. kill tumors, uh, and radiofrequency ablation, or RFA, which uses heat to kill the tumors. Uh, they essentially have the same end result, which is thermal destruction of, of cells. I mean, it won't just kill tumors, it'll kill any tissue that the needle is placed into. Uh, but of course, with CT or ultrasound guidance, we can place a needle into a tumor and, and then treat the tissue around the tip of the needle. Doctors believe this is just the beginning for ablation cancer treatment and soon may be used for treatment of gynecological cancers and cancer that has spread to the bone.